Hello, I'm Mary, and welcome to the Tartan Topiary. On this channel, I always feature a book on the topic of interior design or gardening, and often share ways that this book has inspired me or general musings of life. Come sit and relax while we look at Return to Pretty, Giving New Life to Traditional Style, written by Caitlin Wilson. Caitlin Wilson is an internationally acclaimed interior designer. Her work can be seen from the West Coast to the Middle East. She is widely known for her popular Instagram account, Caitlin Wilson Designs, on which she began showcasing her beautiful, soft, and classic designs. In 2011, she launched her very own textile collection. She now lives in Dallas, Texas, with her husband and five children, where she designs for high-profile clientele and continues to create beautiful home decor. Caitlin's goals as a designer are to not only make a home just look beautiful, but to also feel lovely, classic, happy, and comfortable. She achieves this goal with her new take on classic and traditional styles by focusing on warm floral prints with an old-fashioned elegance. Throughout this book, Caitlin shares her design process and how her own personal style has evolved to create the foundation of her design philosophy. She places an emphasis on fashion and family, with it all being centered around the importance of home. Her approach to creating pretty spaces is all about being effortless and refined, while designing rooms that are easy to maintain with a sense of luxurious livability. Throughout the book is featured stunning photography of pastel color palettes, vivid prints, and easy to follow design tips. Caitlin's twist on tradition will inspire readers to create a style that's beautiful and sophisticated. If we are to judge by history, floral chintz may be coming back in a large scale, with Caitlin Wilson guiding the way. The Victorians loved it, and it resurfaced in the 1940s, and in the 1960s, when Jackie Kennedy famously renovated the White House, she featured a bedroom in orange blossom chintz. The pendulum swung once again in the 1980s, and its country charm status was sealed with ruffles and frills galore, and we flounced through the beautiful world of Laura Ashley. My bedroom from 1984 was filled with everything Laura Ashley. My mother thought it was frivolous 
but I babysat all summer to afford this comforter and everything that came with it. I think I won her over because eventually, for Christmas, she wallpapered my bedroom to match. If you're a fan of blues, pinks, and greens, all 255 pages of this book will delight you. Caitlin writes, I've used pink so much over the years that it has become a part of my brand. Blue is my classic color, and pink is its perfect complement. Webster's Dictionary defines pretty as attractive in a very pleasing but simple way. Caitlin writes in the introduction about the power of pretty. Pretty, to me, elevates even the simplest of spaces. It is feminine, classic, thoughtfully coordinated, and intentional. Pretty is lovely and soft. It always brings me back to my sweet grandmother, who kept skirted tables in nearly every corner of her home with silver frames atop, displaying family and portraits of her grandchildren. Pretty is more than a look. It is a feeling of familiarity, belonging, and unconditional love. This sweet little book is very inspirational. It's instantly serene and calming to the eye. Caitlin Wilson writes, My hope is to inspire people. The most important work that you will ever do will be the work you do within the walls of your own home. So if you take nothing else from this book, take this. You have the power to make any part of your home, and with it, your life pretty. Caitlin ends the book with this. Each of us has the power to create the lives we hope for and dream of, especially within our homes. May we each journey toward the powerful comfort, solace, inspiration, and connection we find in the gift of beauty that surrounds us and return to pretty. Return to Pretty, Giving New Life to Traditional Style, written by Caitlin Wilson. This book is 256 pages. It is published by Harry Abrams Publishing Company, and it retails at $45.
I have had several comments and questions about the china that I have displayed on this wall between the kitchen and the butler's pantry. These plates represent different patterns from the manufacturer Royal Crown Derby. I began this collection in 2005 while on vacation in Charleston, South Carolina. Now, every time I visit Charleston, I add a plate to the collection. I hope to add another next week when I visit again, rounding out the number of plates to an even 10. Royal Crown Derby began in 1750 when artist Andrew Planchet established the first china works in Derby, England. With a passion for creativity, his handmade figurines paved the way for the evolution of global ceramics. Along with William Dewsbury, the two men began crafting and decorating exquisite fine bone china. In 1761, for the coronation of King George III, Royal Crown Derby was commissioned to design a dish to mark this momentous occasion, and this developed a unique relationship with the British royal family, supplying every British monarch since King George III. Exemplary design and prestigious craftsmanship were just a few of the qualities King George III admired, and in 1775, he granted the honor of incorporating the crown into the brand's iconic back stamp. In 1890, Queen Victoria appointed Crown Derby to be the manufacturers of porcelain to Her Majesty, and by royal warrant, granted them the title, the Royal Crown Derby Porcelain Company. In 1911, Royal Crown Derby was commissioned to design the china that was to be used in the Titanic's first-class restaurant. These plates are decorated with a green wreath dotted with the letters OSNC, which stand for Oceanic Steam Navigation Company, the company that owned the White Star Line and the Titanic. My collection of Royal Crown Derby all represent flowers from a Japanese garden, except for one, and that pattern is Old Amari, which is one of the patterns used by the fictional Crawley family in Downton Abbey. And that's how I began my collection of Royal Crown Derby. I love the history and the beauty. If there is a china that you collect, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And I hope you will join me next week as we look at the newly released book, A Welcoming Elegance, by the late, great Suzanne Reinstein. <music>